And you all look fabulous. Congratulations on the season. I've seen all of the episodes. So it has to be amazing to be doing a second season of Buying Beverly Hills. So first of all, congratulations to the four of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I have to say for the girls first, who is it? Is it harder having your dad as an executive producer or Andy Cohen? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a really uh, good question. Probably. I mean, I would say Andy Cohen. <laughs> yeah. <probably. laughs> yep. Exactly. Andy for sure. Sophia, what about yeah. you think? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you. Really? <laughs> maybe. All right. Yeah. Of course, Sophia's going to say that. <laughs> oh my God, so funny. Well, I know that the season was very personal and emotional for all of you for several different reasons. And Mauricio, I know that you're an executive producer on this series. So I'm actually just curious, how do you decide what you're going to talk about or discuss on buying Beverly Hills versus Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Oh my God, well, you know, quite honestly, I think we were just being very real and very open about what was happening. I mean, you know, I have the opportunity to be working with my three daughters. We work together, we uh, live together, I mean, for the most part. And um, it's just, you know, very real. And I know that on, you know, on reality television, the more real you can be and the more open you can be and more vulnerable you can be, uh, the better television you're gonna make. And I just think that, you know, uh, what was happening was just happening. Um, it's not that we chose to do one thing over the other thing, but you know, on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Kyle is with friends, and it's a story about it certainly is her life, but she's with friends. On buying Beverly Hills, I'm with my daughters, so you know, we're having you know a little bit more personal conversations maybe on, on that aspect. And for Farah, Alexia, and Sophia, I know it's always a challenge. You're obviously, you know, the daughters of the CEO of the company, and it kind of comes into play in season two where you feel Can like you remind them that again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly well i feel like it really came into play in season two where you had to have to defend yourself more at for your place at the agency especially with michelle and some of the others so do you feel like you have to kind of take that extra step to defend your reason of being there alexia do you feel like you have to really kind of take that extra step and and have that be more of a defining thing for your career you know i i do I definitely do. I mean, you've seen it with Michelle. She kind of has some thoughts about it and everyone's entitled to have their own opinions. That's completely fine. But the fact is that I love real estate and I am I only plan on going where I deserve to go in my career. So that's, that's all that really matters to me. And, you know, that's... I, she can, any, anyone can think what they want to think, but I love real estate, okay? <laughs> you love it. Sophia, I know you were, you know, being an intern, but kind of what was your experience like, and do you feel like you're actually going to continue on in real estate now after this experience? Yes, I think for sure. I think during the filming of the show, I was really trying to figure out if real estate was for me, and I learned so much from so many different people, and I tried following this guy around, I tried following these girls around, and I feel like now I really know that's what I want to do, and now I'm really diving into studying for my real estate license and figuring out exactly where I want to go within the business. So that's been really good for me. I love that. No, and you, you, you do an amazing job at it. I love how everyone was like, Sophia is the most intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> she uh, is. Without 100%. question. <laughs> For sure. I was obsessed with that. <laughs> Farah, for, for you, um, obviously, like, you know, you've had to deal with so many people kind of getting involved and in their opinions within your relationship. And I'm curious for you, like, what you kind of felt like when you were saying, you know, I am going to actually end this. And what if you were a little bit like maybe nervous about having that part of your life on camera as well? Definitely, 100 percent. It is a very personal thing to go through in general. And then to have it play out on TV and have your partner not be a part of the show. You know, you want to protect their privacy. You also are going through the emotions in real time. So there was definitely a lot of stress around that. But at the end of the day, I think everybody really just has my best interests, my friends, my family on the show. And maybe at times I felt they were coming for me or I was being kind of, you know, having to be defensive. But I know everybody just wants the best for me. 
Yeah, I love that. And I hope you know that showing your experience, like all of you, does actually help a lot of people going through similar things in their lives. And that's one of my favorite things about series. They are wrapping me. Congratulations to the four of you. And I'm so excited for audiences to see this season two of Buying Beverly Hills. I'm like dying to come to over some of these homes in Beverly Hills next time I come. <laughs> come out. We would love to help yeah. you and to tour you. Come on down. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all Thank so you much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.